Hey guys, and welcome back for the, ne the, for the newest part of Seven Days a Skeptic. In this episode, we're carrying straight from where we left off and everything. So, um, we need to find um, William and see what's going on there. And there's blood already. Okay, we're getting straight on in this. Okay, that's William's uh, thing. Okay, let's see what's going on here then. Okay, Carlton is... Okay, let's uh, go here. No, how do I open this door then? Okay. Maybe this way? Nope. Okay, use the... No, can I use the captain's card on there? No, can I use the captain's... Can I talk to it? Nope. Can I talk to that? Nope. I'm glad I can it from under William's door. Alright, okay. It's blood, alright. I him touch it. How sake. Alright, alright, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Again. Okay. Well, let's, uh, maybe, maybe there's something in here. No. Go to the elevator. Let's see what's in there. Let's see where we can go. Um, Angela. Oh, I'm Angela. She's still there. Okay. No. No. Okay. Talk to Adam. Adam. John. I don't think William will be joining us. I got him, didn't I? I don't know yet. There's blood coming from under his door. God. And then, and then there were two. Don't panic, Adam. We'll get through this. I wish I had your optimism, John. With the escape pod ready. It's been ready for hours, but there's it's not lost on problem. The security card is still in William's quarters. Behind a locked door. I knew this wasn't going to end so easily. Is there any way to is there any way to get William's door open? I think there, there is. The constant in Barry's quarters can override all security systems. There's some kind of defensive measure. Okay, so we just need to go there and sort it out. It won't be that easy. I don't recall a passcode is required. Do you know about your security code? Of course not. Maybe there's something in this quarter that could help us figure it out. I don't know. Can't you hack it or something? Oh, sure. All engineers know how to hack computer systems. Sorry, but I don't think that was covered in basic training. I'll be right back. Okay. Alright, well, so we need to go to the quarters and we need to hack into, or find a way to get into the computer to be able to unlock the, um, unlock William's door. So, drawers are all empty. Nothing of interest. It's not done to sleep in dead man's bed. Mm -hmm. And then look in the bin, maybe there's a small little piece of paper or something. It's empty. Okay. Let's 
let's see. Uh, nothing else in the room. Looks exactly like mine. That's just the computer. Maybe I need to hack the computer from the computer. So, help. Not hello. Help. Hello. Email to access email. News to access news. Date to access today's date. Access email? No, okay. So I don't type in access email, okay. And um, access email. Maybe there's no space. Maybe there's no space in there. No. Okay. Uh, no space. No. And then maybe it's just. Um, email? Email. Ah, oh, there we go. Sorry about. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I forgot your. Wait, it was your birthday on Monday. Happy belated fiftieth, fifty fifth. Anyway, Andrew. Okay. Oh God! So don't go off at you, Aras. Hey, man, new, um, news, no news, let's see, oh, um, captain, uh, six digit override code to access it, mm, six digit override code, what would that be? Um, six digit override code, what could it be? Um, you can tell this is the captain, but he gets brown sheets. Oh yeah. Brown is the big captain man. How do I find six digit code? Where the hell do I find a six digit code? God damn it. You're still dead. <laughs> poke a body, poke, poke, poke a body. Gotta poke that body. Gotta poke that body. Gotta poke, 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 poke that body. Find the answers when you poke that body. Where the hell do I find the six digit code? I know, I think I know what it is. Don't ring the doorbell, you ass. I think I figured out what it is. I think it's um, Barry's birthday, so how, how do I figure out Barry's birthday? I said uh, the 55th, it was Monday, well, we're on Friday now, so that's Friday. Yeah, I'm on that Friday now. And um, it is. Uh, What's the date? The date is the 2385. Um, well, 2385. Well, if you take 55 from 85, that's 30. Um, so it's also the 1st of August. So if you go five days from the 1st of August, um, that's 
07. Um, and as the tw uh, make it the 28th. So it's the yeah, 28th, uh, 0730 is the code for uh, Harry's computer. So two to deactivate deck, and one shrinks the um, masks for five minutes. Okay. Let's go through this door. Oh my, oh my god. William, what have you done? There's the access code. God. Let's get out of here. Stay in place. Is he, is he trying to... He's trying to make... It looks like he's trying to assemble a body. Like, you got parts of Barry's body there. And... This dinner for some Frankenstein shit there. Jesus Christ. And an Angela's head. God. What's going on? What the hell? There's very few carefully removed internal organs sitting on the, on the table. Jesus Christ. So look at poor Serena's head still wearing glasses. Yeah. Oh, things are working on. Fuck. I thought William might be dead. But William's the guy doing all the fucking killing. Alright, save that. I've got it. I've got the security card. Great, give it here. You shouldn't have seen William's ribs. Ah. Body parts on every surface, blood on the floor. Oh god, please, let's just forget about it. I didn't think William was William could be capable of such a thing. What other explanation is there? That locker. There's something evil in that locker, I know it. Oh, come off it, John. There's nothing in that locker but... But what? Nothing. No, you were going to say something. What was in the box, Adam? I can't, John. Open the box. I'm so sorry, Chad. Why? I had this awful dream. Something in the box that killed us all. When I woke up, I was so terrified. I just had to get a look inside the box, make sure it was harmless. I just couldn't have slept before I did. What was it, Adam? That's the weird thing. No human remains at all. There was a welding mask, a leather apron, and a machete. And a funny little wooden doll thing. And there was this ladder lying on top of all. To whom it may concern, if you're reading this and the box has been opened, then you must understand that you are in extreme danger. Immediately after reading this letter, seal the box, shut it again, and flush it back into space. Huh. One. The evil must not be released upon mankind again. again. At the time of writing, I am an agent of a joint MI5 and MI6 operation called the Special Talent Project. Details of my post here should be recorded in the British Secret Services. My real name is classified information by my own request. I am commonly known as Tribune. In the year 1993, when I was a cat burglar, I was immediately in what became known as the Defying Night Incident. This is the first game, Five Days of Stranger. And along with the sight of Simone Taylor, Jim, James Fowler, Philip Hart, and a man called Asia, we found ourselves after our five days in the deaths of Asia and Hart, I was able to identify the kind of ghost as that of Sir Roderick Defoe's retarded son, whom I later named John Defoe, for the sake of convenience. I was able to exercise the spirit with the assistance of Taylor and Fowler, and the phone manor was destroyed by fire. I returned to my thieving lifestyle confident that John the phone was at peace. And that's the first one. In 1995, I was apprehended by authorities and in return for amnesty was offered the opportunity to lend my services to the government and took a position as a field agent in the Special Talent Project. This is the second game, six days a, um, 
in, I can't remember, in, the, in the early months of 1987, I was brought news that Simone Taylor had been murdered in her home by a sailor woman and arrived with a slashing weapon. Since the connect, I immediately began my own investigations into the activity of Brown the Fun Man. It was as I had su- 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 suspected, looters and trophy hunter- hunters had discovered the idol intact in the ruins of the mansion, and it was constantly changing hands in antique underwear. The idol was a crude African trinket picked up by Sir Roderick on one of his many adventures in the 19th century Africa. When Sir Roderick used it to beat his unwanted son to death, it became the vessel of John's confused soul. In the mansion, merely touching the idol would cause a person in to be possessed by the wraith, mindlessly murdering everyone they encountered for as long as the possession lasted, usually a couple of hours. Calling them some favours, I had the idol brought to me in a heavily sealed and protective casing. It had to be destroyed, that much was clear. I considered burning it, but I deemed that too risky. The evil could have had remained in the ashes spread over a lot of wider area. I realised that that then that mankind would never be safe as long as any trace of Jean de Fade remained on Earth. Fortunately, an unmanned space probe is to be launched in in the September of this year, assigned to explore the outer regions of the solar system. I have placed all of John Defoe's artifacts in the metal coffin and persuaded NASA to send it off into space with the probe. Leading up to this game, as soon as I have finished this letter, I will seal it into the coffin with everything else and have the package shipped to Kit Canaveral. I um, remain confident that this will ensure that John Rick Defoe remains exiled from the human race for the rest of time. However, the fact that you are reading and presumably understanding this document indicates that my confidence was misplaced. Please no matter please, no matter what year it is or how advanced you believe you are, do not attempt to come like John Defoe. He cannot be destroyed by conventional means or reasoned with on a human terms. You must eject him back into space immediately and tell no one of your discovery. The lives of you and everyone you love are at stake. The decisions you make now, you will have to live with forever. You want the letter? Why didn't you shoot the box back into space? I didn't think that it was for real. And how would I have explained that to the captain? For God's sake, Adam. Besides, it didn't touch anything else in the box. I just closed the box, left everything how it was, and went back to bed. Do you really think it, I caused all this? No, Adam, I don't. Somehow I think the box would have found a way to get itself open somehow. What? Let's just get out of here. Here's the access card. John, run! Damn space. God damn you, you bastard. God damn it. Right, let's get back to. Let's get all the way back there now. God damn it. Let's get all that text. I'm not reading it all again. It's getting interesting. This is getting really interesting. I hope you guys really enjoyed this, but like that was basically giving you a recap of everything that happened in five days. A um, it was um, I can't, I can't remember what it was. It was five days, so there was six days of strange, seven days of skeptic, it was five, six, and seven. I'm not sure what uh, what they're called. I can't remember. Maybe the the hit the button. Hit the button. Yes, done it. Right. I'm leaving that there, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. We are on Saturday. Thank you for watching, and look out for the next video. Thank you. Oh, shot me right in the head. I think I'm wrong. Why are you going for what? What are you for? I'm blocking the door, so he can't come in.